today is a day of major victory for people here. Yeah. Now listen to me very carefully. We're looking at what I call war against wicked programmers. War against wicked programmers. Wicked programmers. We're waging war against those programmers. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 28, Acts 28, verse 26, Acts chapter 28, verse 26, war against wicked programmers. Are we there? This is Apostle Paul speaking and quoting from the book of Isaiah. Saying, go unto these people and say, hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For the heart of these people is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have they closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Something is going to block the ears. Something is going to prevent those people from understanding. Something will make them see but they will not perceive. Something will make their ears dull of hearing so that they can be thoroughly destroyed. Listen carefully. It is a tragedy to obey the instructions of the enemy. It is a disaster for you to heed an evil command unconsciously. It is very sad when somebody or a power is using a remote controlling force to control your life. It is very sad when a man is headed to the wrong direction without knowing it. It is a great problem for somebody's life to be controlled and programmed from afar. It is a strange thing to be dancing to the music of an evil drum. This is exactly what wicked programmers do. In the spirit realm, there is no coincidence. In the spirit realm, there is no accident. Everything is cleverly program with intelligence nothing happens by chance in the spirit realm many of the problems we have and things we have to struggle with were already programmed curses are programmed words covenants are programmed agenda so nothing happens by chance in the spirit realm a lot of battles people fight have been programmed many years sometimes even before they were born this man was a very clever professor of chemistry. And he was headed to receiving one of the top prizes in that field. But he did not know that evil had been programmed against him. He did not know that there had been a covert meeting and his name had come up in the agenda of witchcraft and that programmed disgrace for him. I decree by the power of God that any power programming disgrace for anyone here, that, that power shall be scattered shall be scattered shall be scattered he shall be scattered in the name of jesus let your amen roar like thunder let your amen roar like thunder professor did not know ignorance is a disaster ignorance is the ancestor of failure and every man's problem is the problem of his ignorance. Ignorance is a terrible thing indeed. University degree does not give wisdom. You went to the best university in the world, does not protect you against the attack of witchcraft. Being clever is even from being wise. Being smart is even from having the wisdom of God. Many people are very smart, but they are not wise. Many people have chains of degrees, but as far as heaven is concerned, they are stuck illiterate because every man 
is insane if he doesn't have Christ. The devil can do whatever he wants with the person. All of a sudden, they needed help. So they went to the village and brought this housemaid. A girl of 11, 12, or 13. When they brought the girl from the village, the whole of her body was full of eczema and crocro. And they were trying to cure her. One night, the professor was on the bed. All of a sudden, a voice spoke to him. Stand up. Go to the boys' quarter. And Professor rose up, went to the boys' quarter to where this housemaid was sleeping. And when he got there, the girl was sleeping carelessly with legs wide open, no clothes on. The girl was sleeping and he had the gate of hell open. And the professor just removed his pajamas and began to sleep with this girl. And he was very busy at it. Something went to the bedroom now to wake Madame up. So, Madame, where is your husband? She looked. The man was not on the bed. The same thing said, go to the boys' quarter. And she went there. When she got there, she found her husband very, very busy. And then she screamed, Hey, neighbors, come and see us! And the enemy made sure that those neighbors did not sleep. And they were all lecturers. They just came, found professor naked with the housemaid. And that was the end of a brilliant career. Everything had been programmed, completely programmed. Many think they are clever, but they're not clever. That strange woman you are going out with has been programmed into your life. That your sugar daddy you are falling about has been programmed to destroy. These things are well organized in the spirit realm. I pray that today, every power organizing destruction, every power programming evil for anyone here shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen be loud and clear. Look, if not for evil programming, there was a time in this Nigeria, they were shooting arm robbers at the barbage. Do you know that even among the crowd of people who came to watch arm robbers being shot, some were still in there again. So something is programmed. Once things are programmed in the spirit realm, you can't stop it unless by prayer. It was at one of our prison visits in Europe and we were praying for the prisoners in the prison. And there was a boy there, a young person. So I was interested. I said, hello. I said, white chap. I said, hello. How did you get here? So I committed an offense. Okay. How, how, how old are you? So I'll be 22 in September. And that was January that time. I said, how long have you been jailed for? I said, 25 years. What? 25 years? Why? I mean, by the time you get out of here, you'll be 47 years old. I said, what, what did you do? I said, pastor. I said, I raped somebody. I said, well, if you rape somebody, maximum is 10 years. It's he now looked at me and said, I raped an 80-year-old woman. <gasps> I said, ah, you're such a handsome boy. You could get any girlfriend on the streets. Why should you rape an 80-year-old woman? He said, Pastor, I don't know. Something was telling me. Do it. Do it. Do it. And I had no peace until I did it. That is the wicked program. David was supposed to go to the battlefront. He did not go. Why did David stay away from the battlefront? What woke him up at the very time Uriah's wife was having a bath? What moved him from his bedroom to the rooftop? Who opened that satanic television set he was watching? Why the interest in this woman in spite of his many wives that he had? He slept with the woman once. Who programmed the ovulation period who programmed the pregnancy to be on that same day time it is the duty and function of the evil programmers 
the major programmers are covens of darkness, witchcraft agenda, familiar spirit powers, and satanic agents. What does it mean to program? To program is to arrange, to design, to map out, pre-arrange, to set up, to design a program, to schedule something. The wicked programmers, they work on human beings, they work on animals, they work on buildings, they work on businesses, they work on animate and inanimate objects. And their agenda is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Their agenda is to divert destinies. Their agenda is to program quarrel and strife into the, to the homes to destroy marriages. The agenda is to program sicknesses. They program sicknesses to people's bodies. Some of these infirmities may go undetected for years. They program the sicknesses as strangers in the body. And these program sicknesses have no respect for medicines. The x-rays and the checks in the hospital can't detect them. Just as you, you don't have antibiotics, you don't have drugs that can cure fornication. There is no x-ray that can see a demon. They just dodge everything. Program infirmity. In program infirmities, you may be taking drugs, but as you are swallowing the drugs, they are collecting it from your body and throwing it away. And the doctor will not know why it's not effective. I pray here today, any sickness programmed into anybody's body, in the name that is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I destroy the program in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Listen, beloved. They program animals into people's dreams to cause trouble for them. They program strange voices. People will say, I'm hearing voices. They program shadows and figures coming into people's rooms. People are seeing things they should not be seeing. They program evil spirits to visit people in the dreams. They program all kinds of terrible dreams to cause trouble. I know a brother. Anytime he had an important interview to go to, an important thing to do, the night before that thing, he will have a dream. Somebody will feed him with palm wine. He will drink and drink and drink. When he wakes up, he will feel the taste of palm wine in his mouth. Generally, he will feel whatever he's going to do. The program delay. The program disappointment. The program discouragement. The program frustration. The program wrong marriage. Wrong spouses, wrong children, wrong friends, wrong associates into people's life to frustrate them. Many people think they have friends. If your friend is not making you more godly, you do not have a friend, you have an enemy. They program people into the wrong house, wrong compound, wrong store. I remember a brother who hired a big shop and was trying to put up a supermarket. Nothing sold in that supermarket until he came for prayers. And the Lord said, the reason nothing is selling in that place because there was a day two pregnant women fought and they fought until the two of them died and they buried them there. That's why nothing is selling there. The brother now went and asked the person whose shop was next to it. What happened to the last person who hired this place? Ah, the man said, the, the last person here died in poverty. So when I saw you hiring the place, I thought you were strong. So if I were you, I would leave. Something programmed that brother to go to that place. They program things into people's body. Some people complain things are moving around my body. They are programmed there. They program poverty into some family. Nobody there can excel. They program hatred and rejection from people. People turn away from them. They program alcohol, cigarettes, drug addiction into people's life to divert and destroy their destinies. 
They program sleep and laziness into some people to paralyze their lives. They program saying the wrong, wrong things into some people. They will just be offending and offending and offending. Even people they should not offend. It is the programmers who use charms. A charm is an inanimate object with demons attached to it. A charm is an object programmed to bewitch. A charm is a magical object assigned to manipulate, dominate, and control. A charm is an object backed up by idol powers. It's an instrument of bewitchment and spells. They carry negative power. Both humans and animals, as well as anything on earth, can be candidate of charms in order to harm, to curse, to injure, to harass, and to bind, and to bring to pass what the charmer wants. Therefore, a charm is a weapon of the programmers. That's why I decree here, as I'm standing on this altar, that any charm program against anybody here, any fetish power program against anybody here, any magic portion program against anybody here, in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I destroy their power. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. A woman had a dream. She saw a cat. Before she could put the cat away, the cat started biting her left breast. Within two weeks, doctors have diagnosed cancer. And within two months, she was dead. That cat was a program animal. I pray that any satanic animal program against anyone here shall die in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Somebody has read everything you should read and he understood what he was reading. Only for him to get to the examination hall, just went blank, disappeared. Couldn't write anything. One day I said, okay, pants up, down. Then everything came back. It's an evil program. When there is wickedness programmed against you, you will notice extreme weariness confusion of the mind mental fatigue unexplainable anxiety distress disconnected thoughts a sense of emptiness loss of self-control obeying strange commands freak accidents Loss of income, loss of position, loss of reputation, affliction with disease and pain. These are evidence that there is programming in place. So we are here for a battle, a serious battle. Mankind battles on day to day basis. 21 kinds of evil programming from day to day. Number one is satanic brainwashing. They will talk to the person, the person will not hear. They will preach, he will not listen. It is just his own opinion, his own opinion, which has taken him nowhere. Those are the people Paul was talking about. Hearing, they shall hear, but they will not perceive. Their heart is hard. They've been brainwashed by the enemy. Two, that is what we call self-programming. The enemy is making you to wage war against yourself. Wage war against yourself. You know that certain things are bad for you, but you keep doing it. You are the one waging war against yourself. 
Three, that is medical programming. Medical programming. The enemy is just giving you bad, bad medical reports. Terrible clinical prophecies. That is ancestral programming. It has fought grandfather, it fought father, now it's been programmed against you too. That is date programming. On particular dates, some tragedy must happen. That is food programming. The person will eat what you should not eat at where you should not eat it and problems start. That is dream programming. Dreams that cause problems. That is religious programming. That is environmental programming. That is polygamous programming. Witchcraft programming. That is umbrella or collective programming. Everybody in the family has been programmed to follow certain pattern. That is mind controlling programming. That is spiritual marriage programming. That is death programming. That is hypnosis programming. They hypnotize a the person. That is magic programming. That is enchantment programming. That is curses programming. And evil covenant programming. All these things harass the life of man. But the most wicked programmers are the generational spirits which hide in the womb and give it to every child as they are coming out. The generational programmers, they're the most wicked. I want you to understand this. In the spirit realm, wicked programmers work day by day. And unless you deprogram what they are doing, you, they, you get into trouble. That's why when they throw charm somewhere and somebody goes to pour anointing on it, you deprogram it immediately. The demons there will flee. I was one troublesome woman in this church. We didn't ask her to go and do it. But after one anointing service, she took her anointing oil and went to a shrine and began to pour the anointing oil on the shrine. When the men came to the shrine in the night to summon the spirits, there was nothing to summon. They were very angry. They quickly found out who did it. And do you know what? They wrote me an official letter. That Dr. Lukoya warned this your church member not to try what she tried again because she has used her own charm. To silence our own charm. They call the anointing oil charm. When evil is programmed, it must be deprogrammed. A brother gave a testimony. We're about to conclude now. He gave a testimony. He was on three days drive fast and he entered a bus. And the bus, all of a sudden, the bus changed direction and started going to where the passengers didn't want to go. The people protested. But they blew some powder into the bus. And all of them could not talk again. The brother who was on three days fast, he found that he could still talk. But he didn't want them to know that he could talk. So he kept quiet. And they took them, drove them into a deep forest. And in that deep forest, they used people to make money, magic, ritual. And the style they use is to bury the people alive. They were burying human beings alive to make money. It was not by accident those people entered that bus. It was programmed. They threw the brother into the grave. He was still on his drive fast. He could see them throwing sand on top of his head. Sand on top of his head. And the man who wanted to claim him for money was there saying, well, they were already negotiating. So he was there. He was still breathing. A little bit to his own surprise. All of a sudden, in the middle of the night, an angelic figure came and said, come out. And he said, he found himself outside. And then just said, follow me. They just took him through the bush. But because he hadn't eaten for days, he was tired. So he's, he couldn't move again. He fell down. The angel 
gave him a plate of rice. Amen. With 24 pieces of meat. He ate everything. And he still followed the angel. All of a sudden at a stage, the angel disappeared. He too was now very tired. He fell down to sleep. We don't know from where this forest came. But by the time he will wake up, he found himself sleeping at the gate of our prayer city here. God was merciful unto him. How do you deprogram evil programs? You have to surrender your life to Jesus. That's the first thing. Number two, you need to examine your dream life. If you have been having bondage dreams, you need to cancel them. You need to break every hidden curse and every evil covenant. You need to pray aggressively to deprogram the programming fashion against your life. And you need to repossess what the enemy has stolen from you. So beginning from this period now, beloved, particularly in this July, Palm was changing, which is a seventh month, the month of perfection, our prayer now is against those evil programs. And the Lord told me that as we prayed against these programs, the evil programs of darkness, there will be wholesome testimonies. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. Rise up. But you see, if you are here today and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, don't waste time. Do so very, very quickly now by coming to the altar here. Don't allow evil program to continue in your life into the year. Surrender your life to Jesus very quickly. So just come out here. Leave that seat. Come out here. Jesus is waiting for you. Find a way to the altar. Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Just bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. 
I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here who have surrendered their lives to you today. Lord Jesus, lay your hands upon their lives. Bless them to a dumbfounding degree. Write their names in the book of life. And in this month of perfection that they are handing their lives over to Jesus, perfect everything concerning them. In Jesus' name we pray. The counselors there will speak with you. I congratulate you. The rest of us, let's bow our heads where we are and speak to the Lord. The Father, any sin that will keep any wicked program in place, let them be melted away by the blood of Jesus. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord now. Any sin that will keep any wicked program in place, let them be melted away now by the blood of Jesus. Make it a Change my heart May I be like Change my heart Make it a His name is I his name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is Allah. 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 His name is Jesus. His name is High. His name is Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody rise up on your feet now. The prayers we have to pray now is not the kind of prayer you pray sitting down. Because these prayers are going to travel far. They will travel to wherever evil is being programmed against you. Immediately we begin to pray now. The power of God will begin to pop out like popcorn. That's right. And testimonies will begin to happen. The first prayer I want you to pray without any apology. I want you to pray it in merciless violence. This is not a day to joke with the enemy. This is not even the time to negotiate. Any enemy that has followed you here has made a mistake. Any of the programs that have followed anyone here is in trouble. Say, fetish power! Is how the loudest you can shout it. A sign against my life. Can I hear the sisters roaring like thunder? Is how the loudest the sisters can say it. There is a sister who needs to shout this loud and clear. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Backfire. In the name of 
Jesus. That's right. There must be a fire in effect. Massa potende kaya boshenda. Riba sapende kaya boshenda. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. In Jesus' name we pray. You see that? I told you. Yes. Yes. You that sickness program into the head, program into the brain, program into the heart, program into the blood, program into the womb, program into the breast. Right there where you are, I deprogram you. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. As many people as are here now, and there is unconscious programming inside their bodies. You, those strangers in the body, it is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid and they shall run out of their close place. You, the stranger in the body, your time is up. Come out now. Out, 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 in the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. That's number seven. That's how it's coming out. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. You cannot hide. Your time is up. Lose your hold. The serpent program into the body. Lose your hold. The fibro protein program into the womb. Lose your hold. The sickness program into the blood. Lose your hold. Yes. That's the seventh person. Number eight. Number nine. Number 10, number 11, number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at what is happening over there. You must be released. Today is that day of release. Any power program into that person's body to prevent you from getting married. It's coming out now. It's coming out now. There's a power of God coming up on you. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, yes. Say anything. Program into my life to destroy my destiny. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Masete ke yabo shendera boko senta. Ribo soponde ke yabo shentera ba. Da katanda kanda rabo soto laba. In Jesus name we pray. Now, hear this word from the Lord. The Lord said, there are so many people here today 
who have come with long-term problems. There are so many people here today that the enemy has been mocking. The Lord said, if you will pray this prayer, which we're going to pray three hot times, if you will pray this prayer, and immediately you pray the third prayer, that will be the end of all the problems. Say, every power prolonging my problem. You are a liar. Damn. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes, something is happening here. Jesus, move, 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 move. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. The spirit of paralysis has just been removed from somebody. The evil flow of blood has just been arrested. That cancer in a person's body has just dried up. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Don't negotiate. Don't keep quiet. Don't negotiate. Jesus name we pray uh -huh. yes this is the final one something is happening to one woman over there a whole personality is coming out of you it's coming out it's coming out every power prolonging my problem you are a joker In the name of Jesus. Yes, they're joking. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. 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 Now listen. Any challenge the enemy is bringing your way. Any problem that you may bring here, I want you to focus your attention on it now. We want to pray what we call the name of Jesus prayer. A friend was, of mine was in a vehicle and their driver made a mistake. He overtook at a corner and he was trying to overtake a trailer. 
only to discover that another teller was coming at the front. He couldn't turn to the right. He couldn't turn to the left. He would fall into the river. So what could my friend do? He just held on to the steering and said, Jesus! That's all he said. He was expecting a collision, but there was no collision. By the time he would open his eyes, something lifted his vehicle and threw it at the other side behind the trailer. He called on the name which is above all names. He said, he has given me the name which is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every knee, every program of the enemy must bow. Whether the program was made in heaven, on earth, or beneath the earth, with the loudest voice you can gather, that's why I want you to be calling Jesus now. Focus your attention on any problem you brought here. As you call upon him like blind Bartimaeus. Open your mouth and call! Posatende kayabo shanda. Manaribo sopola kayabo koshentera bakanta. Badakatanda kayabo koshentera bakayaba. Mona sente yaba bakatela kayaba. Ribo sopinda kayabo koshenta. Mana katonda kala boko sopola kayaba. Ribo sopila kaya boko shente la bakayaba. Bakaya bo shente la boko sopola kayaba. Riabo koya bo shente la basanta la bakayaba. I want to encourage you to shout even louder. There is a cloud of the rain of breakthrough here. I want the cloud to break into rain upon your head. Diverse miracles are happening now. Bondages have been broken. Chains have been torn to pieces. Programs of the enemy have been deprogrammed. Open your mouth and call his name. That's right. Makate setela kaya bo shenta, bo nakantara bo sopola kaya bo shenta, ribo soponde kaya bo ko shenta raba, makanda rabo sopola kaya bo ko shenta raba, bakatanda kaya bo ko sopola kaya bo ko shenta, de ribo soponde kaya ba, manakantanda rabo sopola kaya ba, bakatenda rabo sopo. Rapa Likatanda Jesus Jesus Aha, aha. Don't be tired, don't be tired. Call upon me after the other blind Bartimaeus. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Many things are happening here. This is a day of great breakthroughs, of great deliverance.
Amen. There is still one more time to go. But meanwhile, I want you to sing this song with fire in your voice. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. Call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. The Lord reign and let me be the Lord. My salvation be exalted. Be the Lord let not let the heart tremble. He let not let the heart tremble. Let not the heart tremble. Let not let the heart tremble. Let not let the heart tremble. Let not let the heart tremble. 
the Lord in the land I tremble. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now with your voice loud and clear, focusing on what you want the Lord to do for you here. Shout the name of Jesus again. That's right. Shout his name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say it again. Let's bring out our prayer letter now. The letter of your prayer request. Stretch to this altar your prayer request. Those of you who are watching us online to stretch your hand towards this screen. Father, we thank you for this prayer request. Answer them by fire. Let every point written in this prayer request become testimonies. You are the God that answered it by fire. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the prayer request here. And those who are written in our hearts. Catapult us to the next level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May keep the prayer request away now. And all eyes closed. Listen to me very carefully. All eyes closed. I have a word of prophecy for some people here today. I don't know who they are, but mark these words. Mark these words. Within the next three months, there are some people here. God will promote you to the level that no power can pull you down. Two. They have been sitting on your money. Before next Friday, they shall be unseated. Yes. Your stolen promotion and your stolen oil of favor shall come to you this month. I say, woman in this service, the enemy actually took away your womb but as we were praying the deprogramming prayers the womb came back by this time next year you shall appear in this place with twins yes and that sister over there all the conspiracy of the covenant that says you will not marry the conspiracy has scattered thank you jesus father i commit your people here unto your holy hands especially those who are here now who started their fasting even before we started and i said father point to my case here today the word i'm speaking now is for you the lord has answered your request it is written that they to the hills are raised up their head there comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Not so far of you to be moved. For if that keep it will not slumber, that keep it Israel shall end slumber not stay. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. It is well with you. The Lord will bless you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody came here with a medical report. I have news.